Three, two, one, take. So now you know we're wrap. CrossFit is our bread and butter, but that doesn't mean we don't like bodybuilding too. When I first started CrossFit, probably 10 plus years ago, there was not a lot of bodybuilding. It was almost like it was shunned upon in the CrossFit community. And that was one sort of fitness modality that really hadn't been incorporated into CrossFit. Over the years, I've really started to see the benefits of bodybuilding and not only what it can do for your body aesthetically, but how it can improve your CrossFit performance in the gym as well. We all know that if we want to get a bigger squat, then we need to work our leg muscles. We can't just show up and do wad after wad with lighter weights. That's not gonna lead to an increased squat. Instead, we need to follow a squat cycle. We need to specifically train those muscle groups to help increase our muscle and get that muscle growth over time. Same thing when it comes to a running cycle. If we want to run a faster mile, we can't just not run or train running at a very slow speed and hope that we're going to have a faster mile. We have to specifically, deliberately, and intentionally train to be able to run that mile time. For some reason, bodybuilding seems to have been vilified in CrossFit. Most CrossFitters kind of turn their nose up if you say bodybuilding, and I'm not quite sure why that is. I don't know if it's because bodybuilding, your heart rate stays down, so it's more of a methodology used to develop and grow specific areas. So we're being very deliberate with that muscle growth and what we're working on. Where in CrossFit, we're trying to achieve fitness and some sort of fit goal that we're working towards. We don't really necessarily need to turn up our nose at bodybuilding. It can actually be extremely beneficial, not only for our aesthetic, if we have aesthetic goals, but also for our performance in CrossFit. When it comes to bodybuilding aesthetics versus CrossFit, Let's take toes bar and wanting a more defined, stronger midline. We could throw a toe bar in every single day for the next three months and try to really improve our midline and strengthen our core for a little bit more definition by doing that. That's probably not the startest, smartest way because by the end of that three months, our arms are probably gonna wanna fall off and our hands are gonna be so tender from hanging from the rig. We never wanna do another toe to bar ever again. So we could be a little bit more deliberate taking the bodybuilding approach by using a vast majority of core exercises to really target, tone, and strengthen our core. That's not only gonna help our midline, when we are hitting toes to bar in these workouts, but it's also gonna help us in a variety of different ways for supporting our back, for supporting our spine, as we're hitting tons of different lifts when it comes to CrossFit. So with that deliberate approach, we not only strengthen and tone our midline, but we also can improve our CrossFit as well. Whether you wanna be able to do faster burpees, more handstand push-ups, or maybe we just want bigger triceps, biceps, and more defined core. We know that specifically isolating these muscle groups or the muscle groups that we're hoping to improve has always worked. And it's worked for centuries. It's worked for years on years. If I wanna improve my handstand pushups, we can break down what muscle group am I using for those handstand pushups? How do I make that muscle group stronger so then I can apply it to my workouts? I'm not just gonna go do handstand pushups every day for the next six months. That might work, but it also might leave me feeling like my neck is really compact and I'm just a little bit burnt out from being upside down. There's a smarter, more deliberate way to train those that's really gonna pay off when it comes to performance. Another thing we might notice when we're training is, wow, I can really pistol well on my right, but I can't pistol at all on my left. How am I gonna balance these muscle groups out? We can isolate certain muscle groups on our left side to help bring it up to balance with the right side, which is ultimately gonna help our performance when it comes to pistols or something like that, lunging in the middle of a workout. However, we're not just gonna do more pistols or do more lunging, we're gonna specifically isolate those muscle groups. I hope you're starting to see a trend here and how important bodybuilding can be, not only for growing specific muscle groups so you get the aesthetic look that you're looking for, but also so you can improve your performance when it comes to your CrossFit workouts. Hypertrophy is gonna be something that you find in bodybuilding and in CrossFit. Hypertrophy is a little bit more of a byproduct to the CrossFit methodology. And when I say byproduct, that's because maybe we're doing a 20 minute AMRAP and it's a triplet where it's five, 10, 15, and maybe you're gonna get through 10 to 15 rounds, which means you're gonna be doing a ton of reps of those same movements over and over and over. That's the byproduct hypertrophy training that you're seeing in CrossFit that's leading to that increased muscle growth. When it comes to bodybuilding, it's gonna be a little bit more intentional and deliberate. So I'm gonna be isolating my biceps or my delts or maybe my hamstrings and my glutes 
over and over to try to build that muscle without that fitness component that I talked about at the start of the video, which means my heart rate stays down and I'm resting between sets, but I'm still getting those similar rep ranges. So I'm hitting that hypertrophy, which is gonna allow for the muscle growth. Looking back at the past CrossFit competitions, the first dumbbell was introduced in the 2012 regionals. Then in 2017, it was introduced in the open. Prior to that, even in 2017, a lot of gyms didn't have a large set of dumbbells. They just weren't used that often. So all of a sudden, we're all trying to gather all of these dumbbells to be able to one, participate in the open so we can keep our season going, but two, doing these new different movements that maybe we didn't expect to show up. From there, you started to see bench press start to be incorporated into the regional as well, which is a traditional bodybuilding style of movement where we're building our chest, but now we're doing it with that higher heart rate and that fitness component. Component. These are really great tools and they're great tools to use in workouts for the open, for regionals, but they're also awesome tools to use as accessory and supplemental work to help improve certain muscle groups and also give you that defined look in certain areas that maybe you're looking for with your body. We all strive for fitness. Within CrossFit, we wanna do the workout the best that we can with perfect form, as fast as possible, have the most rounds and reps, maybe finish with the fastest time. That's all awesome and we're all on the same page when it comes to that, but I think it's being open-minded. How can we improve those times by doing different things other than just wadding ourselves into the ground over and over? And you guys know what I'm talking about. That feeling where you just lay on the ground and you're like, oh, I can't do this again, but then we show up the next day and we do it again. There's other ways to train fitness and there are other ways to work and be physically fit and improve muscle groups. So I'm hoping that you can have an open mind and see the benefit of doing some tricep kickbacks from doing some single arm seated dumbbell Z press, maybe with a tempo up or a tempo down, really isolating that muscle group and worrying less about our heart rate. And for us, especially within IBEX training and at our gym CFP Fitness, what we have found extremely beneficial for people to achieve their goals and their fitness goals is to do the squat cycles, to do the running programs, but with that, to also incorporate bodybuilding. So it's not far-fetched that you'll see a bodybuilding strength accessory piece as the strength workout up to two days a week. And every single day, we typically have a bodybuilding accessory that's optional for those with more time. Those completing not only the strength accessory portions those two days a week just by showing up to class or logging in and completing the workout online from afar are definitely achieving their goals and surpassing maybe whatever their max handstand push-up were because now they're getting and building more strength. It not only helps us isolate those muscle groups, but it also gives us a break from the barbell. A lot of times we're using the barbell in workouts and with the barbell, it might not highlight the imbalances that we have. When we are holding one dumbbell in a hand or we are in a single leg split squat with one foot on the ground, one foot behind us on the bench, we are really gonna be able to tell, is my right side stronger than my left or is my left side maybe lagging just a little bit. By doing these movements, it's gonna help us bring the body back to normal, the left and the right balanced with each other. And that's really gonna show and pay off when we're hitting those workouts and we're not shifting with our hips and our squats any longer because we can push through the ground evenly because both hamstrings, both glutes are working the way that they should be. I can't lie, I was definitely with everyone with, oh, why am I gonna bodybuild? Like, what good is that gonna do me? Then I started realizing, wow, I can target my lats, now I can do more bar muscle ups. Now I can do better legless rope climbs, which is one of my favorite movements. All of these things that came from just opening up my mind and realizing the benefits that this specific type of training can provide to my CrossFit. So if you're interested in how we incorporate more bodybuilding into our training, definitely check out IBEX training, the IBEX 60 program. We do a ton of it there. We also do it on the comp program as well. And it can really help you take your training to the next level, not only balancing your imbalances, helping you isolate specific muscle groups, maybe helping you get the body and the, the figure that you've been longing for. Definitely check out the links below. Don't forget, like, subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them below. We'd love to answer those for you and have a great day.